it's Wednesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown, as always. I never do this alone. I have the ladies with me. Hello, YK in the building. So, how was your trip? Good morning. Yes, you you came Togo. back from UK, you now went back again to Togo. To Togo, eh? Uh, ah, oh Phil's family reunion. It was very exhausting waking up at five every morning. Why? Hey, I don't know. Maybe they have used five and four to cost so me this you. year. I'm telling you, five. Well, uh, but how was it? it? It was nice. It was nice. Did you meet we, new people? Um, it was a family reunion, so, so not new people. Yeah. It was, more from, yeah, some of them were new. Right. Some of the kids. It was very inspirational they, for they, me. Does anybody ever pressure both of you to get officially? Married. It's family. Always pressure you guys His to get married. Senior brother. Right? Yeah. Uh, we gave him dates that when I'm 75 and 60, no, I will be dead by then. No, you have to do it before. <laughs> oh, <we're alive. laughs> oh, wow. That's so cool. Oh, Good wow. Time. This cake is amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it suits what you're wearing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. Very yes. okay, yes, I have one. Yes, yes so. <laughs> How are you doing, Mariam? I'm fine. Today is Nima's birthday. Yes, sir. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nima. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nima. So, my one is I just want to give a. Nima is a wonderful person. She's a beautiful person inside and outside, you know. And um, I remember when I first joined the show, still trying to find my feet, she was one of the, you know, people that really helped push me and encourage me. So I just would always love her. She's an amazing person. Yeah. Just, so I just pray that today on your birthday that all your dreams come true, that yeah. everything that you want in life that God will provide for you. Well done. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nima. How you doing, I'm amazing. Happy birthday, Nima. Um, my house is full. <laughs> OK. My sister-in-law's kids are in the house. They came all the way from Oweri for wow. the holiday. That's nice. My I'll... mom came yesterday. Wow. I've been shouting Lata Aro. Uh, because did kids... you just speak Yoruba? Yeah, oh, my wow. mom is Yoruba. My mom is around, so I should speak Yoruba. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the kids are energetic, just right. like my kids. So right. the boys are, but fortunately for me, yesterday, I don't know what happened. They cut out my old beads and they decided to start making beads. So they oh. made rings, they made, they were engaged all day. And I didn't chase my son around. I was wow. very impressed. So I'm mm. going to go back now, get some more beads for them to make mm. so that I'll keep them busy. This uh, holiday, I'm making beads every <laughs> thank day. God, thank God we're good talking about kids today because <laughs> Honestly, this vacation is like we are bereft of ideas. Don't know mm, what exactly to make to the kids, to engage the kids. But YK, I have to ask you, what are you, I know that your house is full of children. What mm. do they do? What do they exactly, how do you engage them? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I think they are actually, they don't really get it under my skin. Mm. They find a the way to entertain right. themselves. I don't yeah. know how, but because their father has been away, mm. right. and they watch TV, they play games, they the swimming pool. I mean, they're they, fine. They, actually, they, they, they are no problem at all. They are no stress at all. Oh, they, but they came to me the other day and said, are, "Are we going to go on holiday this holiday?" Mm. So I'm trying to Organize beg my something. brother, at least, even if it is a me. Take them. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. I, I wanted them to go to um, Ubudu Kato Ranch. Okay. But um, is the functional? I'm not too sure. Ubudu Kato Ranch. Oh, really? Uh -huh. They say it's mm. interesting. Mm. Interesting. So I'm trying to convince my brother to take them at least right. somewhere. Outside the house. Are we going to the yeah. east next week? Because they're That's actually nice. good children. I'm mm. one of the most ignorant, like, Lagosians. I really need to get out there. I need to know what's going on. I mean, I'm going to try to start a project okay, where... Like, go around you know, Lagos. It amazes Ni Nigeria. me the way you say it. You say it with such pride. <laughs> no, I'm ignorant. I am one of the most ignorant Nigerians. And I want to learn. Want pride. To learn. No, it's supposed to make him better. I, I not say that with pride, YK. Don't, 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 don't misconstrue what I said. I mean, I'm very ignorant because I feel like I, I need that knowledge. Mm. So it's important because I have an opportunity to share that knowledge. So yeah. I can actually go around mm. and share to people who have no clue, mm. trust me. Mm. But um, I have to mention that we must appreciate the Lagos Computerized Vehicle Inspection Service, LAGVIS, um, for giving us free vouchers for the vehicle inspection for our audience again. So the, yesterday we gave out, last week we gave out 10. Mm -hmm. This week I gave out another 10. I know I owe one or two people already from last week, so I'll definitely give you this week. So if you drive, oh, one of you carry Legacy's Benz. 
give you so you can get your vehicles inspected. All right. All right. And also, as usual, cream slices give us cakes mm. today. Thank it's you so much. Cake. Lovely, lovely. This is like a wedding cake ish yeah. engagement type of nice Maybe cake. Maybe the really? was Dima's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go through the top story. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah. Right, we're going to start with the punch. A papa gridlock, soldiers who lumps extortion, frustrating Oshimba just panel. Picture here of Ojudi Oba festival ongoing in the Jebo Day. Three died, two missing in Lagos boat accident. Hmm. Big Brother Niger, UK police may fire cafe. Ogo family accuses pastor of hypnotizing and killing son. Seconders lament inadequate fund to complete PDP secretariat. El Zagzaki lands in India, begins treatment. Ministers will get targets, experts to man a Greek, says Buhari. Ebola resurgence, be vigilant, NCAA wants airlines. And Buhari APC wants articles 28,000 exhibits expunged. Let's start with this human interest story of this young boy, uh, Kwelumi, that died. What's yeah, that story? Kwelumi, he apparently, according to his parents, according to his parents, he was hypnotized by this pastor, David Ayorinde. Uh, David Ayorinde convinced him to come to his church and play drums. He used to play drums for another church. Right. And then a friend of his now took him, said, go to this pastor. He now moves, and the parents said they were asking him, where are you, where, where are you based? He never told them, yeah. until one day, they uh, came and arrested them. The police came to arrest them and another pastor for... Um, they, they allege that the boy actually stabbed somebody. Sta stabbed somebody, yes. And, and then, unfortunately, he was detained, and at some point, he, 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 the pastor invited him to the house, and mm. he stopped that. The story is a bit The story is, you know, it doesn't, yeah. he has no, because he, apparently he slumped, then he was arrested. So you know, where, where did The he parents were now arrested. So, so the parents are, see are the parents body, alleging body. a lot of things, but I'm, yeah. I'm happy that the police are going to investigate and let us know exactly mm. what happened here. Who has the story of the, the, the boat headline. headline? Yes, Which I one? have the oh, boats. Um, okay. okay. Yes, yeah, so um, there was a head-on collision between two boats on the waterways. That's... Um, yes, Ojo area, Urewe community, and um, three persons have been confirmed dead. The, uh, it was about 18 people that uh, had that accident. Uh, the others are missing, wow. 13 rescued, and the others are missing. Okay. So, but the, the information that was given was the, it was, there was so much speed. They mm -hmm. had, they We've were the trying to boats. overtake themselves. Yeah. And I'm wondering, this is the waterways, where even we have the, uh, I think, is it this company, Uber, that wants to start doing on the waterways? So is this how they are going to be, you know, getting, making sure that they are speeding past? I think people should oh. just be careful. Should we okay. take the headline? Yes, please. Major headline. So um, we remember the 72-day ultimatum that was given by the president to clear the Apapa. Uh, Which I said. Will, it will not happen. So they gave them two <laughs> weeks <laughs> extra. And now two weeks has expired, we're mm. still... Once yeah, yes. So the thing is, they're saying that it's uh, touts that are using the opportunity to um, take yeah, advantage of people. That yes, exactly. Actually, they, they yes, that they make, money. Yeah, that they make almost a million yeah. naira a day. Imagine so that. people are saying that, but they see these people in actual military uniform. But the tax force is saying that, well, these people are impersonators. As far as they are concerned, since that two weeks was given to mm. them, everybody had been phased out. So what they do place. is that there's a portion that on that trucks are not supposed to pass. Mm -hmm. So they collect money to allow oh. the trucks to pass there, yeah. and that causes further traffic mm -hmm. and, 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 and gridlock on that, you on that, know, on that it's, stretch. It's, it's just the same everywhere. You go to the borders, it's the same, you know. So Corruption. Corruption. You, you, you just, if, unless the ministers and the whoever are on ground, they stay to there monitor. to monitor. Let's move on to the nation. I'm not going to move forward, though. <laughs> no more forex for food imports, Buhari tells CBN. Mm. New drugs to make Ebola treatable. Our Majiri education That's government critical. begins fresh pilot test in Kano, Oyo, and seven others. El Zagzaki begins treatment in India. Sonwelu nominates Igbokwe and 12 others. Okay, I'm excited about uh, the Ebola. Yes, I said that's that good news. There's a new treatment, I think about four drugs, okay. that can give a 90% chance of um, survival. survival wow. for, but it has been treated early and discovered okay. early, so okay. which is good. That's and so far, they've, they've, they've been able to get a few people from the, 
uh, Congo okay. to be healed already for, for that uses vaccine and they've been actually when um, I talk of conspiracy theory now you all say can you call conspiracy theory? Theory? What, what? try to tell you what the conspiracy yeah, theory I know where she's going I know what she's uh, let her land now. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, they are selling you their drugs now do you know how much those drugs is the government the people cannot afford those drugs the government will be and subsidize and okay moving on I don't have to even add that they've asked them in at the airlines to be very careful make sure that anybody who has a communicable disease will be checked and reported so that it doesn't spread. That's the Ebola man made. Yes, Ebola is man made. It is man made. Hey, according to Why now we have a drug for it. Okay, have a cure. Why can let's move on. Point, 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 point. Take this your colonial mentality. Oh, why can we get your point? We are colonized. Uh, Ebola is a mummy, no problem. Can we go to Elsa Daki? <laughs> he's in India already. Uh, he's arrived. He arrived there yesterday <laughs> with uh, security. Oh, you people are playing. Sorry. It's Why can't they build it? Why can't they? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so he arrived yesterday with uh, security operatives. And um, they are saying, according to his uh, spokespeople, that the Shiite group saying mm. that the uh, federal government, they are trying to frustrate his early treatment, uh, that um, another organization, an Islamic organization, has decided to pay for his treatment, yeah, so they should India. allow them in India, mm. to allow them treat him. At least he has landed in India. Yeah. 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 He's He's getting getting treatment. Treatment. Mm. Okay, Daily Sun, FG moves against food importation. Khan asks Buhari to review security master plan. Northern Coalition falls to Tinubu's politics and how to make Nigeria great and prosperous, says Abbas and Job. Okay, which story are we taking? So the Food importation. Okay. Okay, I have, major yes, yeah. I have that major head. Okay, please go on to <laughs> So the president is saying that um, he had a meeting, uh, like a get-together lunch for the Salah celebration with the governors of APC. And he was saying that uh, Nigeria has reached, we've arrived or we've got into a place of food security. Okay. And so uh, CBN should not give money, should not give forex to anybody who is importing foreign foods into okay. our country that we have. We should take a... a um, take a clue, a cue from states like KB or Goon that are Legal. getting into agriculture, rice importation, Legal. and uh, people so just make sure that they things like I like to eat. Like what? Like like black olives. Yeah, like like, uh, like all like um this thing. Are they Nigerian what's, food? What's that thing? Keto. Like keto. Keto. No, keto, keto is very regular Nigerian, Nigerian food. food. Keto is palm oil, yeah. right? Don't worry about live keto. <laughs> Why is that? Those things that we put, we can't import those anymore. No, you can't. Eat your African food till you find a way to grow what you want in your country. Thank Ooh, you. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, the my chief of is just make chief sure of, that you have everything in abundance mm. before Maya, you drive one of the way. Staff. Um, Starvation will kill us. Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar okay. met with the Air Task Force <laughs> um, in Yola during this Eid celebration and they were just talking about the insecurity and he says that uh, the insecurity, we need to understand that it's not just about security operatives. We all have a role to play, to play and that they are really working hard against this banditry and sort of, you okay. know, they've put a stall on it. And an important thing to note, a former commissioner of police was saying that most of these issues that we have with security, banditry, is caused by politicians. Right. That if police is courageous enough to chase these politicians down, go to their homes, mm. they will be surprised to see right. what they have Okay, in, uh, no, no, please take your bus on just to I want to know. How to make Nigeria great, according to Obasanjo. Why can please tell us? He said three things. Praise, mm -hmm. prayer, mm -hmm. and Faith singing. Abi, what was it? <laughs> In God, <laughs> Baba has said that three things that will make Nigeria great again: praise, Emma uh -huh. uh -huh. prayer, uh -huh. Emma Gbadura, uh -huh. and Badua. faith in God, Emma Ashesi. We need more praise singers then. Emma Ashesi, Bagbo, God bless you. Okay. <laughs> he, when he was president, I don't know how that he did it too. Because nothing changed. Okay, let's move Now he's telling another person to do it. So pray. <laughs> move on to Vanguard. Maybe he's telling them to work. No, no worry, maybe this, Mikey. Maybe this is just reviewing the, the papers. We're not discussing the papers. Vanguard. No, it has to be a hot topic. Let's <laughs> let's be happy. We'll make it a hot topic. Vanguard. Let's, do, let's move swiftly. Army captain had 191 phone chats mm. with the wanted kidnapper. That's very controversial. Yes, it is. Uh, is my brother. Rich created by people for selfish interests, says Oshomali. Embrace Ruga PDP BOT uh, chairman tells Nigerians. Before his arrest, why Nigeria's due for revolution, says Shoure. Apoba gridlock team, um, tax team, stakeholders, party to sustain new traffic regime. Major headline, who has that story? I have the story. 
So uh, I think that was last week when we took the story of the army captain who stopped um, a police. police van that was taken and um, a kidnapped kingpin for arrest and they ordered and they were able no, to we kill know. some policemen. The kidnapper was let go. Let go mm -hmm. and they killed some policemen. So mm -hmm. investigations now has revealed that he's been in talks with that um, the army captain. Uh, the army captain, over 191 calls they've been. As a matter of fact, he's in Ch his Chops. payroll. He's in the kidnap kingpin, kingpin's payroll. That's the our army captain now. So it shows and the, the five compromise. people, the five officers that uh, were arrested alongside him, said that he no, gave they them were the order. Arrested before, before him. Before him. Mm -hmm. So they said that he gave them the order to go and release hmm. that uh, army okay, captain. Okay, so obviously, so I'm happy that, that there's investigation ongoing, and yeah. obviously, we'll get to, get to the bottom you, of this. Yeah. Know, the truth of the matter, they had no choice because they all, uh, the army is always supposed to, you have to obey the superior yeah, officer. Yeah. Superior. So, Unfortunately, that's all we can take on the front pages. When we return, hmm, mm. all these young Nigerians doing one wrong, one wrong, <laughs> rada, rada, yama, yama, Run, is don't, our focus don't. Today. today. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. <laughs> so, since we have young people in the audience today, it's important we discuss your matter. Mm -hmm. Recently, the story of an ongoing reality show contestant, Kafi, hit social media. We try to ignore it, but the thing is just brewing and we just can't. According to reports, she's facing possible sack threats from her workplace in the UK police department for a constant romp with a fellow housemate. Also, the ongoing story of an Afro pop star, Techno, has refused to die down as the federal government vowed to make him a scapegoat following the, the release of the controversial music video, Agege, in sight of um, ongoing investigation. Now, what are your general thoughts on this? I would like, you, I would like to hear the thoughts of our audience and our viewers because um, we are clamoring for young people to get involved. We are clamoring that we continue to say that this future belongs to you um, and that um, we, we, we depend on, on your own abilities to take us to the future. But <clears throat> when young people continually behave in certain ways, it begs the question that, okay, are we ready? for the future. So I'll open our phone line 070 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read the tweets. We want to have a conversation with young people today. Um, but before I come to the audience, let me start with um, ladies. Um, there's techno and there's cafe. Um, now, those are the major topics going on. And what are your general views? Let, let's start with uh, the cafe story. Now, everybody, they're all adults, first of all. Right? They are over 18, so everybody's entitled to do what they want to do. But there's, there's an issue with techno, we're saying obscenity in your face. Um, is, in, your, in your own view, what, what, do you, what do you make of the issue that her, 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 um, her officer might, might sack her based on the fact that, according to them, her unprofessional conduct mm -hmm. in and outside the force Okay. It's something that they can actually yeah. hold her accountable to. But let me come to you, Maya. Yeah, so let's just start with the cafe story. For me, what really um, came to, uh, what was most important for me in this story is that, first of all, she had <coughs> asked for permission to be on this sure. show. And she was not granted permission and still went ahead without letting her office know to appear on the show. And to be honest, I see that play out a lot among our Nigerian youth. Somehow we have this feeling, this attitude of entitlement, or we can get away with anything. Is it not just to say sorry? So it seems that this attitude is it's across board, you know? Mm. So you expect somebody who is, who, is a, who is an employee of such a prestigious institution, the police, you know, will carry themselves in a certain way. So you, first of all, you came to, you did this thing without getting the proper permission for it. Then second of all, okay, you go on this show. I understand that they say this show is for adults only. And if you don't want to watch it, you, you have to subscribe for it to watch. 
And some people also say it's a, it's a way, it's a strategy to win. My own is that why should your own strategy be the one that involves you, you know, being so intimate on TV? Okay. Now, you're an adult, you're allowed to be intimate, you're allowed to be intimate with the person that you like, but why would you want to put that in people's faces? Right. Why, would that, why would you want that to be something that someone can click about you and see and in the future, okay. you know, talk about? So that's going to the I... fact that she took permission and she wasn't granted, the permission wasn't granted. Um, if you take permission to go on a holiday, to go to maybe Florida, where there's a nude beach, and you go there, and you're <clears> there on the nude beach doing your thing, and so somebody now takes a picture and sends it and posts it online. Is that is it's it different? Is it in different? This case, she had asked to go on the reality TV and they didn't give her permission to go on reality. Well, she can TV. choose to go to but whatever she wants to do during her got, holidays. Yes, then she got it. Okay. I mean, I mean, is that, is that, let's have no. I, no, I think I think that there's an ethic of okay. your profession. Okay. And she has contravened that. Okay. Okay. And I so mean, that's what they are saying that she's not representing the police force, the Met Police. This is not who we are. Right. This is not what we accept. This is not right. what we stand for. And so she would face some some form of disciplinary right. action. I just also All remember right. that they had discussed this in the UK as well, and they said the case is not necessarily a sackable offence, right. but she may get like a first time warning right. or something. Okay. Oh, that's even mm -hmm. very lenient. So the thing for me is um, we like to sit in a place and think that everybody's path must be this way. Everybody's life is designed to be this way. So if you, if you take, we must all go through the A path. Go to school, do a good job, get a good husband, have good kids, and then we're successful. But we forget that people's lives are different. Everybody has their path. And it's very important for us not to sit in a place of judgment, but to let people do their life, make their mistakes, go through their journey, <laughs> learn from their journey, and become who God wants them to be. I'm going to say this here. T.D. Jake's daughter, a pastor's daughter, got pregnant. This is a man who preaches to people on how they should live their lives. And then the daughter fell pregnant, or that's the way they say it now, got pregnant, <laughs> and he was devastated. He didn't understand how he would stand in church and look at people and tell them that I, 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 I'm preaching to you to live right, and then my daughter is doing this. But that daughter had to go through that path to become who she is today. She's one of the greatest speakers on earth right now. So this happy girl has made her decision She's an adult. Maybe the police life is not really for her. Sometimes we, I, I, was, I, I was in the classroom for five years after NYSC, and I got tired of being <clears> in the classroom, and I wanted to do something else. Mm. So it could be that the, 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 the job came at the time that she needed it, but that wasn't her dream. Mm. It's possible entertainment is her So you're passion. saying that if she's sacked, it's okay. Mm. No, I think I she has made a choice, and I think she doesn't even care if she's sacked or not. Okay. Because I, if you take I, a permission. She, you know, she, not, she doesn't even know, because while you're in the house. No, she, you she don't have know, any don't access. Yeah, right. everything that's happening. Right. Apparently, when you're in, but uh, I'm feeling you today. <laughs> I'm feeling you. Give me like that. Give me like, thank you. <laughs> you see, <laughs> all these things that you're all saying, guess what? She's on all your lips. I don't even, it was today when I saw the, I had to go and Google. I, I actually Googled her, saw her picture. Oh, she's a pretty girl, mm. you know? So I now, I've now, I now know her. Mm. Okay, this girl. Excuse me, before she came to Big Brother, did I know her? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, blow, go. So the so the so, 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 not, no no no. See, I, I don't want us to give the wrong information. Yeah, we tell yeah. you the person out there that exactly. to get popular, to become famous, you need to get this kind of attention. Excuse me. No 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 no. no. Yes. Said no uh, Obi Adjuri just said everybody has their path. Yes. Mm. If your own path is that. You go and sleep with somebody three times yeah, a night. Yeah, yeah. Just asking a question. What, what, what is your own business? Though? I have to calm down, dear. Is it your body? <laughs> it's not your body now. Okay. So, so my because, you want, it's because your path. A lot of my gem be more So I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking hey, at the Just That is what you should do. Mm. Just be praying <laughs> that your own children will not decide that that is their path. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. It hey. not make, you cannot say that now. You cannot say that. How many is it? You cannot say on the one hand that everybody has a path. Do you know how now? Do you know how Then say on the second part that pray that your own children don't have to go through that path. If it's about path, mm. let us go. Don't, don't have mm. to. And it's mm. not a matter of half. Okay, see. It's want to. My own is, yes, okay, that there, it, 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 there are paths. But do we still understand? Is there still anything called decency? Mm. Is there a word like that? Is there, is there a way of living Let that me way? Ask them, do we yeah. always have to make the mistake? Can we learn from somebody exactly. else? Exactly. I don't understand why we're sitting down here every time. I, I think.
my Wait, father. The reason we also sit down here to discuss is so that some of us have made mistakes. Some people older than us have made mistakes. We want our younger ones to learn, learn from the mistakes. Better than oh, I share it. I am feeling you. Come here, Let's go on a break. When we come back, we we'll engage our audience and phone calls. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. I think we have a caller. Are you still there, Tommy Singh? I'm sure we've lost that call. You know, oh, I pick up. Yeah. Okay, let me come to the audience. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Um, my name is Ernest. Uh, what, what I want to say is that everybody have. I, I, would, I would like to agree with um, Obiajulu that everybody have their part in life. For example, like a person, a person of Oprah Winfrey, she said that she can't, she can't have the ability or the strength or or the sound mind of nurturing children okay. or taking care of children. That's her own part. Mm. Some people or some persons who come and. Attack. be against her and start saying things and uh, why this why that but okay. she's successful in her own place mm. in her own okay. path so if if this is what Kathy is doing I, I see nothing wrong in that she's coming out to say okay. that this point, is what point taken YK mm. a young man is telling you mm. that he sees nothing wrong <coughs> in a, another young lady romping somebody back to back in the night there's nothing wrong in it excuse me we are human beings. All of us are human. All of us will make mistakes. All of us will do whatever we feel is the right thing to do. Okay. It is not all for us to, to judge. judge because none of us are God. Yes. Mm. So let you can sit in your house and be judging because I <coughs> bought this thing before the show. I said, the day you removed your wig on the show, did this show not blue? You blue. Did we not trend? We trended. Oh. Now. I'm asking you, is that normal no. to remove your wig on the show? May, may, I, may, I, may I just go? No, 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 no. It was, I asked you. I asked her. <laughs> it was normal. It was, yes, it was a no. reflex action. It was I didn't plan it. And you did it. It's okay, it's okay. Reflex. Is it yes. good or bad? Good or bad? It's supposed to be Yes or no? You see? No, 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 there's no you see. It's easy, it's simple, Mara. What? Look at it. First of all, you're saying that she's an actor. You didn't know your view before that. Hey, you're not even going to do us please. Don't go there. I like this, I like this path. Everybody chooses their path, right? So my own is that at what point is this path a good path or a bad path? At what point is that path, is it a Yahoo Yahoo path? I mean, we are talking past. No, it's not the offense. 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 It's not the Let's go. Let's go. Can we finish this? Can I finish? That one are crying. There are so ah, thank many. You. That one are that crying. Why you they bring crime? Come. Is this is a crime. Okay, wait. Excuse me. Let me let me Please. go. Let me let me Please. just answer them. So there are different paths, and some people have come from criminal paths, and they have said that they are sorry about things. They have come from different sorts of things. The, what I'm trying to say is that decency. Whether it's some decencies are criminal, some indecencies are criminal, some indecencies are just just morals. But the thing is, we need to choose. Yeah. What we need I to make you, good decisions. We yeah. need to make good decisions. And we're not saying, Maria, we're not saying until or die or die. Hola, look, Omeji. Let me come to the call, and I'll come to you, Bajilu. Uh, Thomas, are you still there? Yes. Yeah, good morning. Morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Okay, I'm a first-time caller. Welcome mm -hmm. to the show. Thank you. Miriam, I'm Miriam on this. Everybody got their part through that, but think our sense. Where is our decency? You know. When a woman, a young woman, for three years, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I won't subscribe to that for my kids. I would not do it. Even me, I'm ashamed to watch such programs. I am watch. telling you. Mm. Call me, call me old school. I am. <coughs> yes. But we just have to be decent enough mm. to pass it. When, when you're talking about your past and learning from what you do and whatever, what happens to our grandmothers and our great mothers? We mm. learn from their mistakes. Mm. So we shouldn't spoil this path okay. and make it a mockery of mm. our future. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Tomisi. I'll come to you, Nubaji. Let me take a, uh, a comment from our audience. Go ahead, please. All right. My own attention is drawn to the issue about techno this time around, yes. not uh, cafe. Mm -hmm. So uh, the fact is that I've never been a fan of techno. No. 
and I, I don't really know <coughs> a lot about his kind of music, but I do understand that his kind of music is what is trending and is what a lot of our youth enjoy. Right. And surprisingly, you have people who ordinarily you look at you look up to as elders. They are also fans of this kind of music and yeah. these people. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that FG should not play to the gallery for saying that, oh, they are going to make this guy a scapegoat. Okay, you okay. can do make him a scapegoat without making so much noise. Are they not aware that these things have been happening? I mean, before? that was the show. Been happening. For example, you have a lot of, um, what do you call them, nude, um, is it, uh, uh, what is it called? It's I mean, case in point, yes, exactly. exactly. What we are talking you know, about. where you have clubs right. for, yeah. I mean, point taken. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. So the thing that is paining me is the hypocrisy of the Nigerian people. Ah, exactly. That is what is paining me. Judgmental. BBN is adult entertainment for people who like that kind of entertainment. She knows that kind of entertainment, and that is what she's giving to the people who are subscribing to the channel, who are watching the channel. If you don't like it, please switch off your TV. Bam Bam, last year in the house, was caught doing something with Teddy A. Today, Teddy A has proposed, you are going to get married. <laughs> Kim Kardashian, that everybody wants to be like, started with a sex tape. Today, they are building an empire. Is that the kind of world you want to build? No, no, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you talking about? It's her path. Nobody can do that. It's totally the same. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, let me even break the table. There are more decent human beings. Excuse me. That we must have a role model. Where have you? Okay. Where have you? Okay. Where have in the scriptures? Oh, Where have the prostitute in the scriptures? It's the great, great grandfather of your Lord, grandmother of your Lord Jesus Christ today. When God said we should not judge, he had a reason because he knew that people do things for different motives. Excuse me. Your Wait, job, no, no, no. your excuse job me. Excuse me. is to intercede. I don't watch. No, I don't watch no. BB, BBM. Why don't what you is watch it? I be, because I, 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 I'm not a voyeur. Good. It doesn't appeal to you. It doesn't yeah. appeal. It, it, as a person, it, it does not appeal to me. Right. But today, as I don't want it rich, hmm. you know the game. I know coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't want it. Okay. I have to run it. Okay. I have to run it. Let me finish. I don't want it. I have never watched it. I will never watch it. Amen. But today, you know I'm on this table. Yeah. And who are we discussing? BBM. Ah, uh -uh. What taking? is that? Point taking. Let me let Ryan where finish. Where up. Does, trending, what do, does trending mean that it's right? That something trends, that something is popular. Okay, let her finish. I'm not here to judge. Okay, let her finish. Can I talk? You can't please. hear anybody anymore. I need to when hear you. When something trends, when something is popular, does that mean it's right? You just, you, I mean, the man in front just talked about music that's popular now. But does that mean it's right? We're not judging. And that's the thing we need to be careful. Uh, people have become so politically correct now, they're afraid to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. Because if you speak the truth, they'll call me a hypocrite. They'll mm -hmm. call me judgmental. I'm not sitting down here as judge and jury saying I am better than the people who have made mistakes. I have made my mistakes. I have, I, have also, I have also learned from people's mistakes. And I hope that my own children and the ones younger than me watching me would learn from mine. Okay, and they will teach the world after them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. 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 The only way I will shut up is if you have a phone call. I have, yes, I have, I have, I have somebody. <laughs> Please, let me hear your comments. Go ahead, please. Uh, I'm Leko. Yeah, Leko. Uh, you discovered that in recent times, uh, the most viral videos are the ones that uh, they, they make the, the artists known or they make them blue. So okay. I think the, the music industry, they have work to do. Where maybe before you, before you send the video, before you publish the video online, or you send it to them, they review. Yeah. There's something called the National Film and Video Census Board. Yeah. That, that, that's their job to ensure that, that you yeah, send right. it up. But, but, come, but how come you, you Because you, this, you, this you, is the you, difference. You see this video. Yes. Online. And now we are complaining. OK. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Mm. OK, let, 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 let me, I, unfortunately, I have to I, run I, 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 I have to go on a break, right? Ah, you, see, you see your life. I have to go on a you break. You see your life. Unfortunately, <laughs> we have to wrap up on this message. <laughs> when we come back, we have some guests taking this, uh, coming, uh, coming to share say this. So. Stay with us. Can you can't say it anymore, so it's over. <laughs> See you after the break. Yeah. <laughs>
Let me just allow a few tweets. <laughs> I was switching. Why get no comments? Just tweets. <laughs> Give me three comments, three tweets from you, three from you. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, right. Mm -hmm. uh, Abe John says we no longer speak for for or from his perspective, perspective, rather the angle of self sin, Satan, fame, and money. Does being a world speaker and uh, uh, an assurance of God's approval, knowing the way before fall, terrible. Uh, so uh, I can't uh, even I'm take that one. Mm. I don't what say. Sometimes I don't blame the youth with the get famous by false attitude because mm. in Nigeria we don't celebrate academic excellence. Maria? Shea Benson says it's unfortunate that the press focuses on the immoral part of Big Brother's show because this only constitutes maybe 2% of the entire show, which is a social experiment that mostly constitutes fun, educative, and informative sites. This is why the show has a negative public impression. Henry yeah. MD says, uh, BC Ubu has a vital point in this argument That's of what youthful mm. exuberance. Now, the one where I see I read. Mm. The problem with many, many Nigerians is hypocrisy. Most people they condemn yesterday are same people they are hailing today. Exactly. There's no judge to morality and way of life. Thank okay, you. Thank Catherine, you very much. We are coming from at BC Ubu. What we are seeing here is the same attitude that makes folks kill gays. Okay. I'm not comfortable All right. with sex Thanks. on an adult show. So others mustn't do it. Has the person harmed you or anyone, okay. but no, the Bible says it's wrong. Okay, yeah. moving on. All right. So we all know how most parents have anxieties on how to engage their children during the holidays, most especially the long, similarly endless ones like the summer. On the, on the show today, our guests will tell us the practical ways to keep them busy and engaged. What are the new things your children can learn? Join us is a youth mentor and asset surveyor, Mr. Bernard Ebore. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> 070-8066-804 is the number to call. And then you can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Okay, we don't want our children watching these reality shows, obviously. Mm, we, we, don't them, from one side we don't want them. We don't want them sneaking in and finding out what Scaffy is doing at night. How do we engage our children, especially those young, the, the youth, the that middle teenage age? Yeah, basically, we have two segments. Let's say we have two segments of how to curtail or engage our youth. <coughs> we have, in my area of operation, we have those we call um, alpha youths, omega youth. Alpha between the age of um, 13 to 18, okay. then 18 to 31. Um, the basic things are, these are the formative age from eight. You know, the most important things we do or should do is how to inculcate discipline in our children. Because when you start early, it grows with them. And after an age, your kid goes to boarding house. The day your kid goes to the boarding house, you've lost it. Lost it in the sense that he comes home or she comes home on holidays and waiting to go back to school. Mm -mm. And immediately he, gets, he or she gets back to school. The pair group, oh, this is what we do in school. This is how we do it. Unless you start from the beginning, oh, don't do this, don't do that, they will go to school and learn mm. different. Okay, so what I, so mm. now, as I said, just yeah. to rephrase my question, yeah. A lot of young people are now watching reality shows, they're mm. doing a lot of things, and they're seeing people like Kafi and others doing all sorts of things in the house. Mm. Now, we're trying to say that this, the Alpha and the Omega young mm. people, how do we engage them? Yeah. Because I, if I have a 14 or 16 or yes. 18 year old, yes. not 18, mm. a 16 year old kid in the house, they want to watch this show Fine. because trust me, that's, that's what's trending. Yeah. How do I engage that child? Fine. For engage, how to engage them? Most schools, you see, arrange summer classes and all the rest of it. But if you are not above that age, we have shows we arrange where we teach leadership, <coughs> mentor you on what to do, soap making, like you were saying in your program, um, beads and all the rest of it. Those are areas you engage them in. So that at least you will be independent of mm. knowing what you do on your own. We, we partner with other, uh, others mm. on mentoring you on what to do, mm. how to do it, 
so that you leave the part of, oh, I use these days, like we were discussing, they don't want to know the process you went through. They just say, I am driving a Mercedes Benz. Why can't you? Okay, let me pause you for a second. Let me come to our audience very quickly. Mm. If you have an option, <coughs> and I want to talk to young people, not so these mamas here in this audience. <laughs> <laughs> there are two options. Option A, Techno has invited you to come and help with the music video shoot. You're not sure if you're not going to be dancing, but at least you're there. You're going to be in the music video shoot. The crew. With them. Being the crew, and that being whatever. Or bead making. <laughs> now you're the artist kind of Or person. what's the other one you said? Uh, bead making and the soap, soap making. making. Soap making. Yeah. Which ones would you choose? I'd like to a young person to answer that question. Where's the mic? <laughs> and not, not you, please. I want a young lady, please. Depends on your path. Who is there? And <laughs> <laughs> please, where's the mic, please? Could you pass it down to somebody that wants to speak? Who, just tell me, which one would you choose? Let me tell you, the lady in black, go ahead. You're shaking your head. Okay, but let's, let's move on. Ah, because she knows the truth. She will no, not it's... take no video. <laughs> that is what, that's why she's it's not, because she doesn't want anybody to judge her because we are all judgmental. She that did not talk. Look at her blouse. Hey, hey why You see what your blouse have caused you? Okay. But I didn't read the one about Marianne's blouse. The point, the, point, the point I wanted to make yeah. is that, the truth is that, we all we to want to engage young people. Yeah. But parents must not be oblivious of what is going on. Back down. If, you are, if, if you really want to engage this 21st century youth, mm -hmm. you got to think outside no, the box. But outside de but definitely, definitely, you see, when we were growing up, yes. you were growing up. When I was growing up, yeah, when I was growing up, our donations are different. Okay, why? When I was growing up, for me to play football, yes. I was looked at and you can't make it. Yes, sir. Mm. Eh? But today, we carry our kids to go and play, Miriam. To play football, <laughs> mm. tennis, right. and all the rest. Oh. Right. Today, I mean, we have... It, it is boxing in sports. We have, we have, they, we have they, billionaires. I mean, not our My kids. We have billionaires whose kids are DJs. Yes. Mm -hmm. But before, they will ask you, I am a doctor. Mm. Why would you go and be a DJ? Right. We have a, a son mm. whose son is a musician. Mm. But definitely, you have to first get this basic education. Okay. Let me, let me my father, mm. yes. my father, <laughs> He's going back to they that sent him to London to go and learn medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. deviated and went into music. Mm -hmm. yes. His yes. mother wanted to kill herself and mm. him too, yes. together. Yes. Imagine. But before she died, he was her most popular child. Mm. Fine. Mm. And he did things that were outside the box. Mm. He did things that were termed indecent. Yes. He's a legend mm. today. Today. Yes. He celebrated. He celebrated. He, he, people, his co contemporaries and his seniors judged him. Go, yes. hey, look at that useless man Fine. doing this, doing that. Today. He, he, he had, I used he, to walk into places where they say I'm fellas water, they would drive me away. He had, he, Today, he, he had, he had it's a, a different thing. He had a platform. He had a path. He had hey, a path. Hey, 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 hey. This one came. Come on. Get the point. Okay. I have a question. Go ahead, please. Ask our guest a question. No. Yeah, do we? Do we? Um, because what I see most times is parents trying to, to push their life on their children, the lives that they didn't have the opportunity to live on their children, force it on them. In the name of I'm training you, you must be decent and you must be moral and all of that. Mm. Do you, do you um, study a child's interests before you guide a child? Let's say you want to engage these children now. Now I have uh, kids who are musically intelligent. And I didn't know, I was just trying everything. You like to play drum, play. You like to do this, do. You like to do that, do. And on Sunday, last week Sunday, or this week Sonday, I think this is a new week. On Sunday, the keyboard, our keyboardist in church disappointed. And so my son went on the keyboard mm. and played the whole service. Mm. He's eight years old. And in the house, yesterday they picked up the beats. I didn't have any... I didn't know, they just okay. thought about it. Right. So when you're trying to push children to do something to engage them, do you just push them because everybody's learning soap? Go and learn soap, or everybody's cooking. Okay. All right. Or Wait you find their no. interest and push no, them it, in that it's, direction? It's your interest. Right. It's your interest. What we are saying, like you said, your, your, your kid is in school. Okay. So he's, what, I, what he's doing is to augment his studies. Right. Right. It's not that, oh, 
you must, you must go and learn mm. soap, drop mm. schooling, right. and all right. the rest right. of it. It's to keep you engaged. Right. Mm. Right. If, by chance, mm. you run your business or you work for somebody, what stops you from doing the soap and all the rest to to, side. by the right. side? Okay. Well, so it's a, we are saying what will engage you, remove you from doing things ordinarily that will put you in trouble. Okay, ah. We have to wrap up on this, but is there any specific thing you like to, any specific message you like to share with us right now on what else we can use to get the kids involved? Yeah, well, like, okay, by, we have a program in uh, Abel Kuta from tomorrow to Sunday mm. okay. where we want to engage youths. Mm. Come. Free of charge? Yeah, it's free. Okay. It's free. Um, Mockland Hotel okay. in Abel Kuta. All right, Kuta. well, I, I didn't, I didn't know about that. Sorry. You're not supposed to put publicity oh, sorry, on our sorry, show sorry. because that's not why we brought okay. you here. But the idea is just to sh tell us how... No, we have a place where we can... If young people are convinced that you can teach them something, I'm sure they can uh, participate. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll talk to other younger people who are doing things online, digitally, to see how they're going to engage us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Oh my goodness. Thank you for staying with us. As you know, we're in a global village and where everything is moving fast and going digital. Our guests will be enlightening us on how we can use digital evolution mm -hmm. and how Nigerians should, shouldn't be left out in this process. Joining us on the show is, you've been here before, engineer, uh, is actually a digital technology expert, engineer Mudukwe Ajibola. Welcome to the show again. Thank you. Thank you. So today we were talking earlier about young people getting involved in all sorts of um, activities and um, we try to bring someone to tell us um, what ways can we can engage young people. I'd like you to take that further on how do we use this, so this tool called social media, digital uh, technology. How do we use it to engage young people so that it's more, they are doing more profitable and um, let, let, me not, let, me not use, let me not use the wrong word because I, I don't want to judge. Mm. They're, using, they're doing things that are more profitable and more, um, give me the word, legitimate. Okay. So <laughs> how, how do we use yeah. digitalization? So, so you know, it's, thank you for having me. I love this show. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of the show. So I'll just start with saying that. One of the things I'm particularly curious about, and when I came back to Nigeria, so I started hiring young people in Nigeria. And you hear people say the young people in Nigeria are not employable, they, the education is not good, but that's a lie. They're actually very talented people. Mm -hmm. The problem is the opportunities are very lacking. Mm -hmm. um, to that point, the opportunities are so lacking to the point that, and, and, and the solution was right in front of us all this time. We looked at benchmarks like India, and what India did was that they saw that they didn't have jobs for their youth. So what did they do? They built a setup for the youths to enable them get jobs globally. Well, that's the same thing we have to do in Nigeria. That's mm -hmm. what we've been doing. That's yeah. what Andela's been doing. That's what other sectors need to do, period. We need to focus on, and the digital era, IT and technology specialists are not valued in Nigeria, period. Mm -hmm. They're just not. In fact, they're the ones that wear the so dirty suits. So export our, 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 our brains? You don't need them to go. They can work from here and pay taxes here, but they have to focus on getting jobs out there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Because right. there are more opportunities out there. Exactly. Mm. That values their, their talent, that values them as a resource. I have actually have increased my team to up to 20 people now that work for me and get paid in Nigeria while working for my clients in the U.S. Mm. So we were in mm. Silicon Valley a couple of months ago, and we had some Nigerian delegates there, and they told them, we want to expand this type of initiative that I'm doing. How can the government guarantee that uh, folks that in Nigeria would be trusted and not these young people would not become criminals and take their data, blah, blah, blah. And their answer was that, well, they're not ready for business. So this is where I'm going with this. Government problems is not, should not be what everybody discusses every day in Nigeria, mm. Mm. especially for in front of these young people. They see us just bickering, talking about government, and they become part of that problem, bickering about government. Government, government as, is like you go to a doctor that, that is a bad doctor, and you tell the doctor that I'm, I'm sick, and he says, what's wrong with you? You say, it's my eye. And, and in the, while he's trying to look at your eye, you say, well, my leg is paining me too. My stomach is paining me too. So the doctor is now looking at you as, where do I start to treat you? That is what's happening in Nigeria. Everybody is prognosing problem, diagnosing problems. But nobody is really giving tools. Tools is the key word here. Mm. And tools. Tools, results, but tools. Tools are important because young people have been given a tool called social media. Mm. Social media is a tool. 
They use it for what it's told them to use it for. The guy driving the Uber has a tool in front of him to use to work. Yeah. I was talking to my Uber driver the other day and I said, look, these police stops you have all over the place. Uh, how come you guys don't notify each other where there's a stop? And he's like, it's not possible in Nigeria. I say it's possible, it's just an API. So that's, that's technology changing mm, a, a mindset, a, a behavior, because you, know, you put the tool there, they would use it. So the tool I recommend is two things. One is we provide tools. Wherever we see a problem, don't, don't just talk about it. There has to be a technology solution to it. Mm -hmm. Put that solution. <laughs> put that solution in a tool train the youth how to use it, and they will use it. Now, what we can do, what I've been trying to do, is build a value set of, to vet these young people for the global market. Because uh -huh. the global market is saying, Mr. Ajibola, if I hire them, I still have the security issue of, mm. would these Nigerians take my data and do A, B, C, and D with them? Mm. So we have to vet them. To do that, I can't do it alone. So what I'm interested in talking about here is how we work together with the corporations in Nigeria, corporate Nigeria because they've also fall, fall, fallen into the fray of complaining to governments when the solution is in front of them. Right. The digital technology, this space I'm in, is about a $345 billion industry, and it's growing fastest. They're saying that the young people today uh, across the world have been trained for my industry, and the jobs they will have tomorrow in artificial intelligence doesn't even exist today. Mm. So all this stuff we're talking about, it's the youth education, it, people have started training children through, through uh, computer learning. They even forgotten school in some other places, yes. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we have to get ahead and, and give them tools to connect them to where the world is Wait, going. Wait, let me pause you for a second, please. <laughs> I have to ask you this question. Did you understand what he just said? Can somebody tell me what he just said? Because it's important that you get it. Hmm. Who would like to reiterate? Please, can you, can, can, can you pass the mic? Do, do, would you like to take a shot at it? Yeah. Okay. You want, you want to take a shot? I'm talking to you. Who would like to reiterate what he just said? Because it's important that young people get this information. Yes, sir. Yeah, good one. Good morning. morning. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's true. Because technology is the way to solve problems. And I believe, to me, it also helped me to solve my problem. Because with technology today, I can link to the people who are most important to my life, which I would not been able to have done, possibly without any management. But thank God today that... Um, Internet is a funny thing that people have turned upside down. But it's a very important way to learn because I don't see education helping anybody anymore. It's, the, the, the disgrace of education is becoming so, so imperial because people don't learn anything and it's so embarrassing. Where you mm. see people, you communicate with them, they turn you down in only important cases. So, okay. Point taken. I don't, I don't want so, some of you are laughing. It's not funny. It's important that you get what he's saying. There's a, huge, there's a huge opportunity out there yeah. that many of you are focusing on reality show and you're not tapping into. You have that tool in your hand. Now, there are problems. You need to find technology to solve that problem. So identify a problem and get the knowledge on how you use technology to solve that problem. When you do that, you get a job in the in, 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 in future. I, 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 and there's a, there's a yes, go ahead, Waike. This um, bank, there's a bank. It was a young, a young guy that gave them this app that you can now transfer money. That I don't want. I can't mention the bank here, right. but you use that app right. to transfer money. And yeah. it was a young boy that came up, up with, with that idea. idea and sold it to the bank. And today, do all you know how banks, rich that child is? All the banks have it. Yes. Now, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so now we have a problem of. I wouldn't want to go into the schools because we are not equipped to teach mm -hmm. our young children. But the youths. Um, do you have like seminars where you give that opportunity for them to learn some of the skills? Fantastic. Yes, yes, and yes. We have this thing called um, Awesome, Organized Service for Affordable Medicine. Think of it as a foundation. Okay. It is me getting a whole bunch of people to put money together, right, to provide tools and training for the youths. Okay. But we're not just doing that now. What we're doing is saying, okay, Mr. Youth, you know when uh, Buari appropriated money to a bunch of market women and all that? Mm. The problem is that you, you, if you do that, you keep having to do that yeah. if you don't train them. Mm. And because they don't, how do you turn a product into a business? Mm -hmm. How do you turn a business into something somebody else can invest in? That's really what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. So most Nigerians have products. They don't have a business. A business, you have your uh, balance sheet yeah. to know what's going right. on, whether you're winning or not. Most Nigerians don't have that. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is say, okay, Mr. Entrepreneur, Mr. Nigeria that thinks you have a business, 
we're going to put you in a corporate environment, partner you with some of our, those corporations that are now doing this service for us as a social impact program, to say, we'll take anybody you send to us. They will do their own business out of our office, but we manage them. Okay. This way they can understand process. This way they can be trained on how to conduct themselves in a global uh, mm. encounter, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, go ahead, Mario. So I have this question. My worry is that um, Nigeria is known for, I mean, there's a huge percentage of Nigerians who are uneducated, who've never yeah. been to school. I mean, our illiteracy rate is quite high. And sometimes opportunities like this really appeals to those who ha have some form of education. Yeah. So we have hundreds and millions of Nigerians who cannot tap into this, um, like a seminar or class that you're doing. What can we do? What sort of technology do we need to create to be able to in bring these people, you know, have them on board too, so they're not left behind? So I'll say something silly but funny. So I came to solve the eye problem. Now we're talking about the stomach problem. Mm, I know. <laughs> no, no, but, but, but it, there's a point to be made with that, is that if we move the educated ones that are all college graduates, mm. driving taxis, driving Uber, if we can move them to this space I'm in, there will be jobs, the jobs they're doing now will be left for those other people. Who are not educated. Mm. Who are not educated to mm. do, because they need those jobs, right? right. And, and, and they also, and the global market is as such that people are not even looking in my industry, they're looking for your track record. What have you done? Mm. If they see three samples of products you've developed, so we can start training them. And it's not just development. There's project management. There's sales. There's, Jibala, there's let's, marketing. Let's break, Jibala, I want us to break this down like to pieces. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want you to talk over people's heads All here. Right, please. There's a young person there right now. She's doing makeup. OK. That's the product. She's learned makeup, okay. and that's her product. OK. Now, what I used to say is that for her to be relevant in the digital space, yeah. she must be able to find a technological solution such that she's able to get clients either via technology yes. or find ways of using technology to enhance that business, that product that she has. If that's what you're saying, how would she go about it? Well, today, they know that. They go on Instagram, they post the products of their hair, they do that, people solicit them. Yeah. But if they want to take that from, again, that's still productizing. Mm. You want to brand yourself. Mm. You want to distinguish yourself. Then you have to have, to have your own app, for instance, right? Mm. Then you have to have somebody back you, some mm. kind of uh, endorsement. Right? So the, the digital revolution can, it, that we're talking about is where technology brings all those people to you. Mm. They see that you're already selling hair and it's making money. And a guy like me is like, I want to make money from hair too. I don't want to sell it, mm. but I want to make money from it. Right. So I'm going to go invest in your business right. and say, I'll keep paying for the supply of hair as long as you're making money. So that becomes a business. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, right, right, right. Fantastic. Well, I have to ask you a question. Want to come in? Yes, I was just saying what you just gave, but I, what, what, when, what does she need to do to get to the point where you would notice her business and invest in it? Because I know that many people, that is all they can do. That's what the opportunity um, gives them to just make that product and, make the, and just do the trading. Yeah. How does she move from that point to the point where people are seeing her to invest in her? Brilliant question. There's a, sh there's a program called Diamond in the Rough that we're investing in. It's going to kick off in January. We're going to be putting quite a bit of funding into it. That's the job of that program, to go find these people in Nigeria. People, and, and to find you, all we need to know is that you've been doing this by yourself and you've, been, you've come so far by yourself. Again, it's called scalability. We want to scale your business. We don't want to start your business for you. To start your business, you started it yourself. You've been selling hair. You've shown that you were able to make some money. Mm. So now we want to scale it. But to scale it, we're not just going to give you money. We're going to put you in a place where somebody will study you as a person mm. and train you as a person Aww. so that you can be trusted, you can be vouched for, right? And, and you can have this process training. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so um, you've, talk, you've talked about integrity, integrity and you've talked about trust. And I know that it's lacking in the Nigerian space right now. If you travel outside the country, once you mention you're a Nigerian, everybody is looking at you. Can we trust this person? Yeah. And um, we don't have people who model such oh. for young people. Because the truth is, it's good to sit down and talk about it. But if you don't show it, if you don't live it, they, won't, they copy what they see and not what you say. So do we have like a platform where you can talk about or you can train people to you know be trustworthy is that something we're doing in that space that's, because we need so, to get so, there to move so that's awesome is doing the platform 
the platform literally organized service. So I'm going to come back to this show when we're when we this. So we're actually we've invested in about six different applications tools. Okay. That would allow them to go in, right? Set up their company, even allow them. Oh, you know, a lot of big problems they have is signing agreements. So if you want people to collaborate together, first thing these folks ask is, "I'm partnering with somebody. What, where's the agreement for your partnership?" They're like, yeah, "I don't really have yeah. one, but uh, we know we're partners." Mm. And then that person is like, "You stole my money. You stole, they're fighting, right?" Mm -hmm. So we approve in that tool. They have that that agreements that they can sign between each other, and we become arbitrators for them okay. to say, "Hey, if anything goes wrong." We even become an escrow. So which means even if you want to borrow money, if you want to loan somebody money, you know today you give them money and they say, I forgot it, I don't remember that money. Yeah. We, we, in that platform, it allows you to take loans for your business, but it's through the platform. Mm. So you can't deny that you took the loan. Mm. It's there. And that becomes part of your own track record, mm. that you're not good at returning money mm. uh, to right. people that invest in you. So these are things that we Let me ask you a direct question. How Please. many millionaires have you made? How many what? Millionaires have you made? We've not. We've not... I've made myself a millionaire, but not. Have you been able to replicate it? That's what we're trying to do. No, no. In Nigeria, it is the done hardest thing it's because easy to be a millionaire. because the mindset has to first be changed. Right. Mm -hmm. I've, I've talked to my own peers that are saying the first thing that comes out of their mouth is ah, where there's no hope in this country, and, and uh, because the leadership, the leadership, everybody's fixa fixated on the problem when the solution sits right in front of them. It's ironic. The solution is these people. <laughs> It's them, and, and, and it's a moving target. If, if, we, if we stop, so every time I'm in a business meeting, I stop them, I say, we're not on topic. Let's move right back here. This is, the, this is what we came to solve. Mm -hmm. You can tell me about what security issues are going on, all those other things, but this is the one I'm solving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's solve this one. If you stay focused on that problem, and if you start holding those, all of us are counting. I say, Mr. Ajibola, you are coming here talking about uh, electricity and all these other things. Were well, you not supposed to be helping this young man with something? Where's the status of that? That's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. You have to hold me to what I came here to talk That's about and, 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 and check us on that. Mm. It's the easiest thing to all talk about the problems. And now identify, so each of us must identify what problem we want, want to solve, to solve. And focus. Focus on it. So okay. okay, how will I solve the light problem? <laughs> uh, the light problem, you know, uh, 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 Fashola has, 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 has claimed has is a No, I have to ask you because these are the problems that, you want I mean, solve. we face. Yeah. And which has made us a complaining nation. So the lie problem in the U.S. The way they yesterday, go on. the lie was just going up, down, up, <laughs> down. The <laughs> just was the gist. You know, if there is, do you think there will be an app that I can just do? <laughs> Why you can come up with an app? Yes, yes you can. Can. I'm, I'm old now. I can't do that. No, we're not old. Just come up with an app. The, okay, the lie problem in Nigeria is another issue, but but it's not a big issue for my space because people are on their phone, they're on their computers. They can charge it enough to work on it, right? Your office is your phone. Your office is your computer these days. Mm. So you don't really need all that light problem is, is really for... Charge for, the phone, call. For, uh, right, unfortunately, that's what we can see. <laughs> is there any final comment from our audience? Anybody want to say anything concerning this? We're good? All right. We're definitely going to bring you back because uh, we're trying to get young people engaged. Yeah. It's important that they know the opportunities they have because if they read the papers, they're not encouraged. We saw a young boy oh. yesterday, and he was here, 500 level medical student, and we just we were moved by how dedicated he seemed. But I just felt bad for him that yeah. ah, is Nigeria ready for this kind of person. Yeah. So yeah. we we'll continue to bring you around Please. to come to encourage young people that yeah. listen. This is where the market is. Mm -hmm. This is where the money the is. Digital world. Yes, the digital world. Yes, digital world. You can actually yes. make it being here. You can work abroad, but you can still be here. Yes. Fantastic. Yes, please. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow.